That's a good one. You get the show sheet? Yeah. Okay, thanks. How's it going, Brosif? Good. Hey, uh, where's Crisco? Crisco! Yes. Uh, go get the uh, go get the newspaper, Pioneer Press. Okay. Brosif's right out in the hallway. Hey, how's it doing? What's up, Brosif? <laughs> What's up, Brosif? So, Brosif, what's the So, you take the little blue comb, mm-hmm. and what do you do? Brush it in there. Brush it in? Yeah. And it don't, gets rid of everything. Don't forget it in the shower, though, because, I mean. So, you do or you don't do it in the shower? Yeah, do it in the shower, but just don't forget it in the shower. Don't forget it in the shower? You know, somebody's oh, because somebody else will see the little blue comb. Yeah. And then, gotcha. you know, it might help to, you know. Okay, gotcha. Thanks, Brosif. Oh, appreciate it. What's up, Brosif? What's going on? Busy? What are you working on? All right. All right, Rosa. See you later. Rosa, how's it going? So Dave is calling everyone Rosa, which I think is a combination of brother and Joseph, which is weird because I'm a girl. Um, I think he learned it from his nephew. I mean, it's better than sugar tits, which is what he was calling me before, so... He's like, Brosif, can I get tickets for Star Party? I'm like, Brosif, I'm not going to get you tickets for Star Party. you got to call in and win like everybody else. You going, Brosif? You going to Star Party? Son. You going to be there? Yeah. You better dress it up this time, Brosif, because last time, between the puking and the being drunk and sloppy, you looked like you just cleaned out the garage, Brosif. So you got the War of the Roses promos ready to roll? Yep. Yeah, we got them. All, all ready yeah. to go? Yeah, totally done. Yeah. All and, done. And nervous if we're going to do nervous for the weekend? Yep, yep. we got that well, on. Brosif, you demand. Thanks. Brosif. Thanks. You know, you bring new words to the lexicon of public words, like brosif. I mean, it's like my new my new thing, and I kind of came up with that. And, and you know, you want to keep it unique as long as you can. You don't want just every moron in the world stealing your word, or because then it all kinds of goes away. I mean, like, for example, back in the late 80s, I was one of the first ones to discover the Garfield suction cup window dolls that, that hang on your window. The next thing you know... It's no fun to have one because everybody in the world has got one, so that kind of went away. So then I hear Rob using the word brosif, and it's just not right. It's kind of like when I used to go to Applebee's all the time, and I love Applebee's and riblets, but all of a sudden everybody discovers Applebee's, and next thing you know there's foreigners all over inside the Applebee's. And I'm like, why can't you foreign people in your language go to Baker Square, for instance? Baker Square is bankrupt. Oh, it doesn't matter. You get my boy Perkins. Then go to Perkins. Dave and uh, Cartman are fighting again. They're loud. They're screaming. Because Cartman's now saying Brosif. They both sound like idiots. Just use another word, okay? Not really that hard. So you found a what? In the it's studio? so weird. I was editing the podcast and I found like this little blue comb. Like a tiny little blue comb. Yeah, who uses a blue comb on their hair? It's so little. That's what would gross. You use it for? I'll tell you. But first, where's my water? I asked Steve three, four minutes ago for my ah delicious chili agua. Sorry, <laughs> Thank you very much, pimp juice. Appreciate yeah. it. 